Hi, I'm Ruth and this is Daniel and we are the marriage and family pastors at Palestine Church. We wanted to jump on and share with you guys a little bit of tools and things you can use during this time. We know it's kind of hard being separated from other couples and not having a community of church people that you can interact with and we just want to be a light and hope during this time. Yeah, over the next couple of weeks and even more than that, we want to take time on Monday nights and uh, just bring some just marriage highlights from the week or even from the month, uh, different stories from either the uh, pastors or the fathers, somebody inside of our life uh, that we can come and glean from and take different tools from. And so we want to bring that to you because it can be difficult, either not just in quarantine for your marriage, but any other time inside of your marriage with uh, from job to finances to children, anything that you can think of uh, can bring stresses on it and can cause disconnection and all the things that we experience inside of our marriage. And so what we want to do is tonight really kick off uh, the whole thing with marriage. We keep laughing because we've done like 50 <laughs> takes on this. And so it feels weird talking to a camera and not to live people because there's no interaction. But we want to encourage you as we do these over the next several weeks uh, in the comment section and then even on Facebook Messenger, uh, you can send uh, any kind of questions you have. You can send, um, I don't know what else. Any topics that you'd like us to talk yeah. about? Anything that you have? Questions? Um, about anything. Yeah. Not nothing about murder. We don't we don't answer questions on how to murder your spouse. Uh, it wouldn't be good. So anyway, but no, we really want on a serious note, uh, we want to take any questions, topics, things like that. And then that way in the following weeks, we could either get some of the uh, other pastors that we know, we can get uh, different resources so we can bring all this stuff to you. Because really, this is about building marriages. This is about building strong marriages. And so uh, maybe we can tell you about our marriage to begin with. So. Yeah. We were married. <laughs> we were married. We've been married for 11 years. 11 years. <laughs> and um, when we first got married, we moved to a town. We didn't have any family. We didn't have a church. We didn't have anybody that we were connected with. And it was really, really hard. We both had new jobs that we were getting into. And just us being newlyweds, we did not have the best time. <laughs> no. There was spats, we would call them. There was lots of yeah. different fights that we would have. Uh, but like Ruth said, we didn't have... Uh, really a uh, community of friends. We didn't have uh, people, moms or dads, uh, spiritual moms and dads feeding into our lives. And so what we're really doing is kind of pushed out into the open ocean and we're trying to navigate uh, choppy waters just yeah. by ourselves. And so there are things uh, that we've learned as we've come along. We don't have everything figured out. No. Not by far. Ruth has a lot of work to do. <laughs> but listen, I think I got it figured out. But um, no. no, we have... Uh, a lot of things that we want to share with you, whether it's from child uh, raising up our children to uh, just different things from date nights and all this other stuff. Uh, because what we really see is that marriages are so needed in our communities today, in our cities today, and, and really uh, strong marriages are needed in our churches. And it's just because the dynamic and the, the power that a strong marriage brings, it's, it's like no other. And, and when you can catch that vision, when you can see what a strong marriage will do, uh, it'll transform your life. And, and Ruth and I never thought, I mean, would you think, you know, no. eight years ago, no. nine years ago, 10, 11 <laughs> years ago. But I mean, if you think about it, did you ever see us be in a strong marriage? No, no. And that's the thing is I was, I, I was in a place of hopelessness and I didn't feel like we had a future and that we were in a place where we were just surviving. Like we were trying to make it in day in and day out. We weren't getting to places. We didn't have goals. We didn't have a vision for our marriage. Um, it was literally just not killing each other from day to day. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what we kind of want to share with you guys is like your marriage doesn't have to look like that. It doesn't have to be where you wake up and yeah. you are armed with weapons against your husband and like scared of him of what, what um, things are going to happen. Not, not physically, but just yeah. like a fear of like, is he going to leave me? Is he not going to stay with me? Um, those were things I had. Yeah. And I felt like if I didn't do things and control situations, then he wasn't going to act like I wanted him to act. Yeah. And it all came down to me breaking that and letting him have the reins of our marriage like he's supposed to, like God designed it. Um, and, and, and surrendering that over and, and be, being, having faith that he is going to make the right, right, right decisions. And even if he doesn't, that I'm still going to support him yeah. and be his biggest supporter. Yeah. And see, 
A lot of the things that we come against inside of our marriage, a lot of it has to do with fear. A lot of it has to do with the the unknown, because as she's having these fears, as she's having these anxieties about, uh, you know, not giving up control or what all, all these other things are, then I'm having these fears of, am I a good enough husband? Am I doing everything I'm supposed to be? Like there's some textbook mm-hmm. or something that I'm supposed to be following along that I'm supposed to do the exact perfect thing. And and really when you go to the word of God, and that's what we're going to do in these coming weeks, when you start looking at what a marriage is supposed to look like, and when you start looking at uh, how powerful a marriage can be inside of your community, inside of your family, it'll absolutely rock your world because we've seen personally we've seen marriages that have been thriving and we've seen marriages that were just barely surviving or not surviving at all Mm -hmm. and and the difference between the two even the marriages that have spoken inside of our lives uh one of the best ones we we have some dear friends of ours the uh edwards sean and kathy edwards that spoke life into us and it was amazing i remember kathy right before uh, we had got married and she gave us this example of uh, a team. And she said that sometimes when her and, and Sean get in a spat or whatever, you know, I'm not throwing them under the bus, but when they uh, have this vision, they said that we would take helmets almost and put them on and say that we're on the same team. And it wouldn't make any sense if you're on a football team to throw the ball to the other players. But we do that sometimes anyway. We throw it to the enemy. We throw it to the busyness of life and we give all of our attention to those things instead of coming together as a couple and saying, you know what? We're on the same team here. You know, mm-hmm. is there anything else? You and, and always I always do the analogy of like holding his hand and like nothing gets to break this bond right here. And if I find myself like wanting to let go and wanting to like push him aside, like if he's hurt me into something or he said something that I, that has hurt me. <laughs> Like that's my first reaction. Then I, you have to fight against that. You have to fight against this bond and fighting on the same team and for each other. Meaning, like he's not my enemy. There's a bigger enemy that we're fighting, and yeah. it's not each other. Even though we don't see eye to eye, and even though we're on two separate sides, and he sees red and I see blue, like we're yeah. still gonna have to figure this out and learn the tools that we need yeah. to walk this out. And that's basically what we're wanting to give to you guys right now is tools so that we can walk this out together yeah. and that you are thriving in your marriage. Yeah. So just for today, for this first Monday, for the first podcast coming on here or whatever this is, we just wanted to encourage you that you're not in this alone. All right. Uh, Ruth and I aren't these holy, wonderful couples no. <laughs> and we have our marriage figured out. No. Uh, sometimes Ruth wants to punch me in the face. And you know what? Sometimes, <laughs> More <times than> not. <laughs> sometimes I just want to tickle her to death, you know? But, uh, you know, we don't have it all figured out. We may be pastors, we may be leaders in our community and all these things. And and there comes with this, you know, this reputation that you get, but we don't have it all figured out. I don't think anybody has it all figured out. But my encouragement to you is that we're going to figure it out together. We're going to walk this journey together. We're going to figure these things out together because there's nothing more dangerous than when two or more are gathered coming with Jesus on their side, going out into their city, going out into their states, communities, and changing Mm -hmm. literally the world. Mm -hmm. There is nothing more powerful when two people come together and they're they're gathered together and they're agreeing on something over their children, Mm -hmm. over something that's really uh, hitting us hard like this virus. Mm -hmm. You know, Mm -hmm. I just think it's an awesome picture. And what we want to do every week without fail, it doesn't matter what we're doing. We want to make sure that we bring on these videos a growth moment. Mm -hmm. And the reason we want to grow is because if you're not growing, you're shrinking back. And I've said this analogy several times that we want to lean into God and the things that he's doing. And so this moment this week, I want to bring a growth moment. We're going to focus on two things. Mm -hmm. All right. So the first thing is this is that this week we wanna encourage everybody that's listening to this, get with your spouse, take some time this week, and you wanna come up with what are we doing? What is the vision inside of our life like? What what is our our purpose for being here? What is the purpose for our marriage? Mm -hmm. Like, why are we doing this? Do you want to just survive? Do you just wanna make it the next, you know, five years, 10 years, 50 years, and then just kill over and you didn't make a difference in anybody's life Mm -hmm. or Do you want to come up with the vision and do you want to say, you know what? Our marriage is going to go forward in this. This is what we're here for. This is what we want to do. And then there's one more thing. And the second thing is just praying together. And I want to encourage you just to pray out loud. Me and Daniel did not pray together for a long time. I think it was like up like six years in. We just decided we're going to start praying together. We would pray over our food. Yes, we would pray over our food. But like 
having that intimate, it's a terrible joke. I'm sorry. <laughs> intimate prayer um, with each other, yeah. and like that was kind of like my thing and his thing. We never combined them. Yeah. And there, there's so much power in your words. Yes. And when you come together and you um, speak things out over yeah. your marriage, over each other, um, just like when I hear him pray for me, it yeah. does something in my heart. Like. I didn't, I don't know how to explain it. It's just like, he yes. empowers me with his words. Yeah. And like, I, and then the things that he's speaking over me, I'm like, okay, I can do this. I can, yeah. and it just gives me like, uh, I, I don't know, it just like empowers me. And there's yeah. so much power in that praying yeah. together. And so I, we wanna encourage you guys, if you don't pray together to do that, to come together at least daily, try and we do it yeah. in the evening times that we'll come yeah. together and we'll just have, sometimes we just worship and we don't have any, yeah. Um, any other distractions, we put our phones away and it's just us dedicating this time to God and doing that together. Yeah. And um, pray over your family, pray as a family. We always bring our kids in and we'll have them pray together with us yeah. on things. And it's so encouraging to hear their their point of view in things and the words that they have to say, yeah. even though they're young, so. Yeah, well, let me pray over you right now before we get out of here. So just the two things again, Find vision for your marriage. Talk with your spouse. See where you're going inside of your marriage mm -hmm. the next 5, 10, 20, 50 years, 100 years in your marriage. And the second thing is pray with your family this week. Really set aside time. Pray with your spouse. If you have children, pray with your children and begin to seek God over their lives and speak blessing over their life. So Father, we just thank you for these powerful marriages that we have. And God, we just thank you for what you're going to do through them. God, I thank you that they're going to transform cities and transform cultures in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.